Hey ladies, it's Gina. So this look is my Valentine's look 2010. Um, it's inspired by my boyfriend. He has this thing for like, he actually likes me going all out when it comes to like the sexy type of makeup, um, a little bit more dramatic. So that's not so dramatic, but I'm guessing this is what he would like because the few times that I did kind of wear this look, he's always been like, wow. And he really likes straight hair, so rather than curling it or anything, I went with a more Jennifer Aniston kind of hair for my Valentine's Day look. So, of course, I love nude lips and a really basic smoky eye, so that's it. Um, hope you guys like it and stay tuned because this look is going to inspire my Valentine's Day contest. I'll talk to you ladies later. Bye! So to start, I've already primed my lid with Too Faced Shadow Insurance. You can use whatever primer you use. I'm going to use my Sigma 219 brush, which is really similar to Max 219 brush. And it's just a really dense pencil-like brush. I'm going to dab this into my MAC eyeshadow in vanilla, which is the shimmery white, and apply this to the inner corner of my eye, really concentrating um, more on the lower lash line, inner lash line, so that it can really show. I'm bringing it out about a third of the way, and then just kind of applying it just in the corner. Make sure it's pretty visible. Using my MAC 214 brush, I'm going to dab my brush into my MAC eyeshadow in Mystery, which is just a really dark brown, really similar to Espresso or Concrete. I'm going to apply this very as close as I can to my lash line from my outer corner all the way to my inner corner and just follow my lash line, um, applying it in dense little motions back and forth and I'm gonna s slowly start to kind of blend it outwards and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep applying some more and some more until I get it nice and dark and then we're gonna go back and um, apply some lighter browns so that we can gradually blend outwards so that so that the color just nicely nicely blends. <laughs> so keep applying more. You don't want to bring the dark brown out too far. See how when I open my eyes you really can't see it at all. But when you close it, you can still see like a thin line. Not too thin, but okay, just like that. Next, with my Sigma 224 brush, I'm gonna grab my eyeshadow in texture, which is a tan. How do I explain this? Like um, orangish brown shimmery brown and I really like to use this color to blend in my darker smoky colors into my skin so it really tapers off nicely helps blend smokier colors um, depending on how dark your skin tone is but I'm pretty dark so this works well for me if you're lighter you might want to look for a lighter lighter brown or a lighter um, color to help gradually blend. See how it's really helping my dark brown blend into my skin. 
very nicely. Just like that. Next, I'm going to grab my eyeshadow in Wedge, which is a lighter brown. And it looks just like this. Almost looks just like my skin color. Just going to grab some of that and take it up a little bit higher from where I tapered off my texture. Just to help that even. Now I'm going to go back and apply some more brown where my lash line is and kind of just start to blend it into my texture and really focus in on making it nice and gradual before a brush again and just blend the colors together in circular light motions the Sigma 224 is a lot like um, Max 224 but the only difference to me it's a lot alike in shape and, you know, like it looks like the 224 brush, but it's a little denser and the bristles are slightly different, so this brush actually works more better t for a crease brush, I would think, um, but it works just as well as a blending brush. So I'm just blending that. And if you look, you could tell I'm not taking that dark brown very high. It stops about right here. That's how high I'm taking it. And the rest is really my texture that's blended in. So it looks just like that. Normally, I would take that dark brown a little bit higher, but I'm not going for too much of a dark dark smoky look this is kind of like a more brownish smoky look for my highlight my MAC eyeshadow and brulee which is just a really matte cream color right under the arch of my brow and then blending downwards just to really emphasize a really clean brow now for my eyeliner I'm gonna take my Sigma 266 brush and my Jane gel liner and to soften up my Jane gel liner I'm just gonna grab a little bit of my primer to make it go on even a little bit more smooth see how it starts to become more jelly like <laughs> I'm gonna go from my inner the inner corner of my eye thin line and bring that out following my lash line making sure that there's no voids and then I'm just gonna follow the contour of my eye meaning the shape of my eye and kind of take it out and wing it out in my last video I went more diagonal this time I'm going for that cat eye kind of look so I'm just following the contour the shape of my eye Letting that brush work its way and then just winging it at the end, at the very outer corner of my eye. And I'm just going to go back and fill it in, fill in my eyeliner where my lash line is, just really making it nice and deep. Apply some to your lower lash line. Try to get it as dense as you can, but a thin line, not too thick. Just where the lash line is, but really make it nice and dense. And to make sure that this liner is visible, I'm going to kind of line the very outer inner corner of my eye Egyptian style and then lining my waterline
I'm gonna apply some very full flirtatious flirt. I'm gonna apply some very full flirtatious <laughs> I'm gonna apply some very full flirtatious lashes. So they're crisscrossed, which works well for Asians. And mascara um, in volume. And I'm gonna apply a coating to my fake lashes to make it even more voluptuous so that it's even more flirtatious starting at the bottom of my lashes and then wiggling upwards then I'm gonna apply some to my lower lash line wiggling out and making it as long as possible Trying to avoid clumps though. Now that the eyes are done, I'm just gonna take my NYX Mosaic Powder in Dare. I'm gonna take this nice pink color right there, just that pink color, with my Sigma 109 brush like this and I'm gonna apply this to the apples of my cheeks to really give me this flirtatious blushy look and round it out bringing it up I got some nice pink I don't think you guys can see but I have some really pink pink cheeks right now <laughs> Okay, to finish off, I'm going to go over my lips with my MAC Lipstick in Freckle Tone. It's just a really nude beige color. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of gloss. This is just a really nude gloss too from Estee Lauder. So this is my finished look. It's in, inspired by Valentine's Day and I'm thinking of probably wearing this out for my Valentine's Day date with my boyfriend. If we have one. <laughs> so I hope you guys like it and if you guys have any questions you know what to do. And I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!